Okay, a quick video here. This is just some simple editing, um, nothing too fancy. So I use GarageBand for all my podcast editing. For uh, local podcasts, this is more than adequate. So um, it's probably, I probably do more than you actually need to do. But basically, hopefully you recognize this. You, you bring a couple tracks into uh, GarageBand. So I record using GarageBand, so each person that I'm speaking to gets their own microphone and they get their own track. And I, I record on separate tracks so that if I'm speaking with someone whose voice is much softer than mine or much louder than mine, I can adjust those individually instead of having several people talk into one microphone. And if everyone's in one microphone, it's going to be really difficult to split those different people out, especially if they start talking over each other with it. If you're doing an interview, almost always happens sometime. So I bring each uh, person in uh, on a separate track and uh, just label them so you know who they are. Um, you can see the top one is highlighted. If you want to highlight all three, you just click on one and the next one, hold down shift key and click again, click again, and then they're all highlighted. So you want to make sure that when you start editing that you're um, you need to make sure you have all three edited if you're going to start splitting clips so um, that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to split this clip because I can tell split region uh, right the playhead that this beginning part here is just people chit-chatting getting ready to record and this is where the introduction starts and we start getting into the actual interview so those are all highlighted now. If I hit delete now, it's going to delete all the highlighted ones, which is not what I want. So I'm going to come back over here to the part I'm not interested in, click on that, shift, click, shift, click, and then delete. And I got rid of that. And you start with uh, exactly where you want to start. Now, if you start moving tracks around, be very careful. Um, if you move one and not the other two or however many people you have talking, then all the voices are going to be out of sync and it's not going to make any sense. So just make sure you move them all together. So I'm just moving that over to the left. And the music that I have for the intro for this podcast, uh, I know that my client likes it to be about five seconds of music. And then the interview starts. And so there we go. Five seconds. Someone starts talking. If you come over to the right, this is your media browser and it connects to your iTunes account. So I have an iTunes folder called Podcast Intros, and then you just pick which one you like, and you can just bring it in. And see, I'm dropping it in a fourth um, track there. You can either just drop it in as a fourth track, or if you double click somewhere, you automatically create another track. I'm going to delete that one. And then you can just double click into the... Um, and rename it if you want to. So if we played from the beginning, it's just the intro music and then the voice on top. And then looking at the uh, other voices, you can see that the that's me actually speaking at top. That's probably just going to be a little bit of fuzz there. No one's really talking. And that's where people start saying hello. So this is a good indication. The, the microphone on the bottom, you see how that looks not as the sound waves aren't as big, so that person probably, I'll need to move their um, volume up a little bit. And the easiest way to lower or uh, raise someone's volume, you want to go up to Mix and Show Automation. It's already clicked. But that's that line that shows here. That's your automation line. And that's how you can raise the volume across that one track only. So you just click on it. You can take it all the way down to zero if you want to zero someone out or, you know, way up. I guess not way up, but up. So I'm going to keep that at zero. And then if you're in an echoey room, what you can start doing is if you click on that line and click again, I like to put double, I'm just showing you this is, and then you can take a section down to zero. So you don't have to take the whole thing. And where I would use that is in between. So that's me again speaking. I could come up here and in between when I talk, I can just drop the volume of my microphone in between that. And that's how I would use that. Um, that gets rid of a lot of bounce if you have bad room recording, a lot of echo. So again, in between where people are speaking. Oh, see what happened? I didn't put the second dot in there. And so it just 
drop the whole thing, but that's pretty easy to bring back up. So I'm going to bring it back to zero, I think. Close enough. And for some reason, this went all the way up. So bring that back. All right. And so you just go through and, and listen and uh, zero out the parts that you don't want. This one down here, you can tell that the voice is softer. Maybe they're further away from the microphone. Maybe it's just a softer voice, but you can bump it up. You're going to have to listen to it as you go. And you just edit that. So we, we dropped in our intro. We're editing as we go. And then at the very end, you're going to want to uh, put your outro in the same way that you, you put this intro in. But uh, before you get there, I would start at the very beginning. Don't put your outro in until you, you've gone through and made sure you're not going to cut a section. So let's say I need to cut this is just gobbledygook. Let's say this person just started cussing and got really angry and we need to cut it out. So again, I want to highlight everything just to make sure that it's all in sync. And you would split region to playhead and then move your playhead to the end of whichever section you want to cut and do the same thing. Split region to playhead. And then make sure that you highlight the area you want to delete because it'll automatically keep highlighted to the right of your playhead when you delete or when you uh, split your section. So then you can just hit your delete button or you could go up and hit edit, delete, it'll delete that section. Now actually I don't want to delete that section so I'm going to undo delete. You can always step backwards, undo split, undo split again, and now I'm right back where I was. Another uh, feature that I like is if you have to do a little editing, sometimes people talk over each other or they want you to edit something right in the middle of when they're talking. And if you need these sound waves to get bigger so you can actually see where a good place to split might be, there's a little marker up here. See it? Horizontal zoom. And if you click on it and push it to the right, you see how the timer up here gets strung out? So I'm just going to move over here. So you took your, your voice and now it's really getting spread out and it makes it a little bit easier if you need to come in and edit. You can say, okay, I can go there because that's sort of a, a non-vocal point and it, it'll be easier to, to split. But if you're at a normal speaking speed, so to speak, uh, it gets a little bit harder. So I'm just moving this back to, I usually have a five second interval there. Um, now sometimes you can just see that that'd be a good place to split, but if someone wanted to have you edit right in the middle of that, that would be difficult, and that's when I would spread it out to, to actually get a better visual of when I could get in there. All right, so let's say you've done all your editing and you're ready to export it. Um, just go up to Share, Export Song to Disk. I'm not going to do that right now because this is a 30-minute podcast and it would take uh, 60 seconds or two minutes or however long to export it to my desktop. But that's all you would do is export your song to disk and then you'd have an MP3 player on your desktop or wherever you, you send it. But you're, you're left with an MP3 player and that's the file that you're going to upload into iTunes to put your tags on or so that... The podcast hosts in iTunes knows the information about your podcast. And I'll cover that in another uh, video. It's pretty simple. It sounds more complicated than it is. But you just want to export to your desktop the MP3 so you can use it for the, the next step. So that's really about it for editing in GarageBand. Uh, it just takes more time. Uh, it's pretty easy to explain, but it just takes time to go through each podcast that you do. But I would generally guess that you're going to spend about as much time editing as your file is long. So if you have a 15 minute episode and you're not super interested in listening to every word of it and you're okay skipping around, give yourself 15 minutes to edit it. If you're a perfectionist, give yourself a little bit longer. If you're okay with a little bit more casual approach, maybe you can get through it a little bit quicker, but um, somewhere around there. And then um, I always uh, recommend that you listen to it once more before you publish it and read your transcript or your show notes to make sure that everything is uh, ship shape. So there you go. Any questions, let me know. Always happy to help.